to show you um, an apartment tour of the apartment that I live in. I again live in Patterson and it's a two bedroom, six person apartment and well we are currently uh, only three people living in a two bedroom, six person apartment because long story short, three of our roommates two weeks ago self-termed and so, so far each one of us have been having our own room for two weeks and it's been the quietest two weeks ever. Because honestly the, ways are, the way our schedules are, we like hardly see each other. So it's been the quietest two weeks ever. But um, actually the roommate I had, like actually like in my room with me, she's still here but um, when she saw the empty room she was like, no can see you, but that room's empty and I was like, none taken, go for it. Cause who knows how long we're gonna be like this and just recently got an email though saying that we will be getting new roommate or roommates this sunday or monday it looked the dates had sunday but usually it's like mondays they come in so i don't know we're, we're gonna see what happens and we might have another roommate again i don't know we're gonna see how that works while everything's chill i'm gonna go ahead and do this apartment tour while we're here so Get started. Starting at the front door, I'm in apartment 1307, building one, third floor, and number seven. Now you will notice in this video that some of the light switches are a little weird. These right here are normal at least. So the left switch goes right up to that one, and the switch on the right goes to the lights right over here. This is our key holder that we got at the dollar store so we know who's here, even though Ali and I are the only ones who use it. And this is a cute whiteboard that we got from Target so we could write out all of our schedules out and know when everyone was working, even though Ali and I were the only ones to use this as well. Now only my schedule is shown because Ali is one of the girls who self-termed for good personal reasons, but I do miss her very much. On the table we have some random mail, I think from one of our other roommates who self-termed, a red plastic bowl sometimes used for fruit, Behind that are some park maps and a cookie jar from Polynesian, and a cup right here that holds all of the colored markers for the whiteboard. And as you can see, we were blessed with the right amount of chairs, six chairs for six people, and we even have an extra one that went with the desk. I bought this clothes hanger at Walmart because I knew I needed it, and sometimes it stays here, sometimes it changes locations to out on the porch, it varies. Right here is the main closet that no one really uses, it just has a few random hangers and boxes from move-in day. For this apartment, we mostly have carpeted floor and the dearly beloved OG DCP couch and chair that we didn't even bother to try to make cute and homey. Here's the coffee table. And this TV, Ali and I bought at Goodwill for, get this, $40 and it works. Ali has a fire stick and we watched plenty of Netflix on it, but when she left, she left the TV for me. So now I have a TV for future living purposes. Over there is the extra chair I mentioned earlier, and the table the TV is on is the desk that we were given, and underneath is a little side table. Over here is another little side table, and on it is a box of movies that my dad brought for me to watch since I could play them on my laptop and have no Netflix or anything. And this is one of the diffusers that Ali left that is now also mine. To give a little explanation, she moved all the way back to Washington, so there was a few things that she didn't care as much about nor wanted to bother packing to bring all the way back. Over here is the sliding window door thing to our balcony and the other roommates that self-termed left these lights that still work so I decided to hang them up here to make our living room at least a little bit more homey and I'm so proud of myself because I did it all alone with my tiny body and it looks so cute. Also here is bedroom number one. The numbers are hard to see as they are a faint white and bedroom number two. Out here is our lovely balcony, and I love coming out here to chill, read, and spend my quiet time. This chair was left by past roommates because it was actually in the living room when we moved in, and we decided to move it out here to have a place to sit and chill on the balcony, and it's actually really nice and comfy. Now we've been told so much about lack of parking, but clearly I've yet to have any trouble over here. But anyways, here's our view. It's not the most breathtaking, but also not bad. This guy is definitely the main event during any type of day when enjoying the view like the changes in weather and the sunrise and sunsets. Oh yes, here is a light that we have for the balcony and the switch is right here.
Now coming back over here is the kitchen. It's a little small for six people, but luckily we're not all over here at once. This is where the lights get a little weird. The switch goes to the living room and the one next to it doesn't do anything. And the switch to the kitchen is all the way over here. Now I apologize in advance for how ghetto this is about to get, but here is the dishwasher with torn pieces of paper indicating whether the dishes in the dishwasher are clean or dirty. And up here is a drying rack and mat, the rack being from Walmart. This is our sink which includes a garbage disposal on the right that I had to get used to since I don't have one back home. And I bought the mini sink strainer on the left which is super helpful. I also bought this Dawn Gentle Clean dish soap because working at Starbucks has ruined my hands. And it is wonderful and smells so good. Also, it's pink which is my favorite color. Over here are a few different Ziploc bags and a toaster. I knew the Lord heard my prayer when I walked in on move-in day to see this beautiful thing. That past roommates must have left because Disney does not provide one. In this first drawer are silverware that Disney provides along with simple black cooking utensils as well. Everything else you see is ours. The bronze rose gold measuring cups are all mine. Ugh, Anna and Elsa met. That was Allie's, she loved that. Underneath is a bigger cabinet that holds all the pots and pans that Disney provides. I'm not sure if they provide the strainers since they were there when we moved in. I especially doubt they provided the red one. Up here is where all the plates, bowls, and cups are that housing provides. And as you can see, there are plenty. This is our stove that works pretty nicely. It just looks a little sketchy and bent in some places. Hanging from it are some random hand towels and right above it is the microwave. Right above the microwave is some more storage that I have used to hold a lot of the cups that I have. Here is the Southern Hill Farms cup I bought while there, which y'all saw in the previous vlog. This purple one is the Minnie Mouse cup that y'all also saw me buy. Behind here are the flower and garden tumbler and rose gold I live in fantasy land cup. This green Starbucks one and the two behind, the white one is also from Starbucks, are ones I already owned but yes, I have a problem and don't get me started on my mugs. Over here are some paper towels with a holder that I think someone bought. I bought this cutting board from Publix that is currently stained of strawberries. This ninja bowl is mine as well as the Keurig. And this is a random bin that helped me when moving in and on top of it is a food cover that I bought for the microwave to help keep it clean and it is very helpful. This right here is a pretty nifty thing that heats up water and there is a coffee maker that one of my other roommates bought. Right here is my personal drawer that I use to hold all of my other kitchen supplies that I bought. Next to it is a random drawer that holds anything else that anyone can use or have. Underneath that is where everyone keeps their plastic containers and disposable supplies. To make things easier, I decided to keep all my containers in the box they came from right there. To the left is the cabinet I used to hold all of my extra snacks and other things like my salad container, lunchbox from pink, and Ninja Bullet cups and lids. Up above on the lowest level so I can reach it are other snacks, coffee, etc. I grabbed the space when some of our roommates left so I could have more storage, but I have no problem moving it all back down to my first cabinet if our future roommates need it. Right here is our tiny freezer that six people usually share, and it's currently pretty full with just the three of us. Kind of crazy, but I just took this tiny corner and a small part of the door and try not to get too many frozen foods because there's just no room. Right underneath is the fridge. It's usually not this empty of course, but we actually haven't had near as much trouble sharing the fridge as we have with the freezer. I took this little side here. This drawer is also mine. All of these are also mine. As well as this little corner right here. To the left of the fridge is the pantry where we each have our own little shelf. This is my shelf, and yes, I do eat pretty healthy and proud of myself for it. Right over here in this big closet is where everything else is stored. This corner is where we cook all the bags to be reused as small trash bags, my Ninja Bullet box, and our trash cans that can get full super fast. 
up here are all the boxes, trash bags, someone's pancake maker from past roommates. Oh, and we did buy this broom and dustpan because housing does not provide that. I think you can borrow one from the office, like the vacuum and other cleaning supplies, but it was more worth it just to buy a cheap one. And finally, last but not least, is my room, which is room number three. I currently have the room to myself until we get new roommates, which is actually pretty nice, but it can also be a little lonely sometimes. Over here is the other diffuser I mentioned earlier that I'm currently using. Here's my bed table. The top drawer I call my school drawer because it has everything you would typically need for school. And I also have my books in there that I'm currently reading, cough drops, etc. The bottom drawer is my tech drawer, which is also self-explanatory. Up on top is where I'm showcasing my follow mug, best youth group ever by the way. Here is also my magic band and my name tag that I rarely wear except for special occasions. I have a couple of cute little sumsums. I actually received this little pixie dust star when hanging out with Sorcerer Mickey and received the mini sumsum while hanging out with Celebration Mini. This Tinkerbell mug was actually one of the first things I got with my discount and I love it so much. And the frame behind it says was done in love is done well. And this picture frame says chase your dreams, which is exactly what I'm doing. All the way up here is mini signature that someone actually crocheted, which is so amazing. Over here is something very special to me. My high school science teacher was like a mom to me, and for senior chapel made me this frame set with my name in different languages, with the help of some of the foreign exchange students, along with a coin from each country, except for Thailand and Vietnam. So I guess I gotta go there next. If you are watching this, I love you so much, Miss Simpson. To the side are some audition numbers that I just randomly stick on my wall when I'm done with them. And as for the ears, I've just started putting them all in random spots, wherever they'd be able to stay. I was gonna make an ear wall, but it just never happened, and I have two months left anyway. But yeah, these here are the 2019 ears and OG rose gold ears. Here is my bed. Sometimes I make it and lay my Alice in Wonderland blanket out, or I will roll it up and place it with the other pillows for more of a clean, white look. But I thought I would show off the blanket that one of my best friends, Christina, gave me. It also says, curiouser and curiouser at the bottom. Here are some of my pillows. This one says, choose happy. And this rose gold one is a mermaid pillow that Christina also gave me, a classic must-have pillow. Here are some of my other pillows. The white and black one, one of my friends made and gave to the whole cheer team during our first Christmas party in high school. The long pink one, Christina also gave me. And the hidden one next to it actually turns into a bunny blanket from Aeropostale. The gray and black blanket on the edge is actually more of a blanket scarf that I used to help make my bed more cute and comfy, also from Aeropostale. Right above is my cork board. This is a hand-drawn picture that someone drew of Red Carpet Dreams Mini at Hollywood Studios, which is one of my favorite looks that Mini wears. These are the pins that I got when I started to get into pin trading a few years ago, but now I just mainly collect pins that are special to me, like this limited edition Narnia pin of Susan Pevensey. I also used the idea of using tacks to hold most of my necklaces and bracelets like this, which is super nice and helpful and looks pretty cute. Right at the end of my bed is my backpack that I use for work. And right over here is my side of the dresser. All of my makeup, hair products, and everything else you can think of are right here, along with the drink coaster so I can have my coffee right there while I'm getting ready. In the first drawer are shirts and bags of other little things like accessories, second drawer are jeans and shorts, and the last one is for socks, underwear, bras, all that jazz. I'll have to move all this when I get a new roommate, but these are the ears that you get at Traditions. Underneath that is a light up makeup mirror that my mom got me, and these are my classic sparkly Minnie Mouse ears. Up here is a drama queen sign, aka me, and my bra rose gold ears. Hello. And continuing this way is the bathroom. Just for show, the closet is right next to it, and I will show you that in a minute. Our bathrooms are split between the sink, toilet, and shower. Right over here is my side. We also have a medicine cabinet where I keep a few other things. We only have two lights working at the moment. That one right there was flickering for the longest time and now it is out, so there's that. But they did fix it when they were making the place ready for our new roommates. Under here to the left are just some more bathroom related things. Going into the second half of the bathroom, I apologize for my finger that's in the shot. Anyways, I got a towel hanger for Christmas so we could have extra towel space. 
I'm pretty sure this bathroom mat was my roommate's, but she just left it here. These are some cleaning supplies some of my old roommates left, and I took because, yes, free cleaning supplies. This rack I brought and my dad helped set up, and it has been super helpful. We never ended up getting a cute shower curtain or anything. And this is a brief look at the shower, which is actually pretty decently clean, and I've managed to keep it that way. Coming out of the bathroom and back around to the left is the closet, and right before that is a full-length mirror that I brought and painted it white so it could match everything because it used to be blue. White is always a good idea. I highly recommend bringing one of these on your DCP if you can because they are so worth it and I use it all the time. And finally, here is the closet. To the right, we each get a walker, and of course I had to personalize mine. This is a really cute cast member magnet I found at Company D. The classic DCP Spring 2019 magnet, and my very special Ukraine magnet. Now, unlike a lot of people, I actually use this locker to store just about everything else you can think of. And this is my side of the closet. Right here, I have my Super Greeter costume ready to go when needed. Down here is my small laundry basket and suitcase. This right here was actually in that first main closet that I showed in the beginning that was left by someone. And I just recently took it to use as an extra space for shoes and other things. And I will of course move it to my side when my new roommate comes in as well. Just enjoying the extra space while I can. Up here is where I used to have my shoes, but now it's just extra storage for my purses, blankets, sweatshirts, and other things. It is a pretty decent sized closet. And, oh, my footstool, which is essential for tiny people like me. <laughs> Okay, so that is the room tour, concludes the room tour, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because, yeah, you guys know that you love watching me and my little things and following Destiny around, yes, um, yeah, and see you guys next time. Peace out.